Well, where was I? Damn time limits. All right. Verse 20. But, behold, he likes that word. As I said unto you concerning another sign, a sign of his death, behold, in that day that he shall suffer death, the sun shall be darkened, and refuse to give his light. So the sun's masking. Good. Nice to know. I had, wasn't sure. And also the moon and the stars. And there shall be no light upon the face of this land. Even from the time that he shall suffer death, for the space of three days, to the time that he shall rise again from the dead. Funny, nobody else reported that. Not even the Bible. Of course, they're not as perfect as this book. Right? Twenty-one. Yea, at the time that he shall yield up the ghost, ooh, there shall be thunderings and lightnings for the space of many hours, and the earth shall shake and tremble, and the rocks which are upon the, the face of this earth, and beneath which ye know at this time are uh, at this time are solid. Or the more part of it, one solid mass, shall be broken up. So all those fault lines, they happen in that, you know, San Andreas and all that shit. That happens in third Nephi. Wow. That's where the geology between this and the flood it explains everything. Excuse me, I think I lost a whole bunch of IQ points just like that. Alright, I'm okay. Well, what was I saying? 22. Yea, they shall be rent in twain, and shall ever after be found in seams and in cracks. See what I mean? Fault lines. They didn't exist before 3rd Nephi. <laughs> and in broken fragments upon the face of the whole earth. Man, he just shattered the whole earth. A storm that covered the whole earth. Darkness. Really? Wow. <laughs> 23. And behold, there shall be great tempests and there shall be many mountains laid low, whoa, like unto a valley. That's totally different. Wow! <laughs> and there shall be many places which are now called valleys, which shall become mountains, after J.C. yields up the ghost. Temporary. Yeah. And there shall be many places which are now called valleys which shall become mountains, whose height is great. It's fine with me, too. <laughs> 24. And many highways shall be broken up, and many cities shall become desolate. Again? Oh, that's right. We haven't read about the Jaredites yet. Yeah. History repeats itself even in this book. 25. And many graves shall be opened. Shades of Matthew. 
and shall yield up many of their dead, and many saints shall appear unto many. It's pretty damn specific. There. I don't know. I'm kind of convinced. 26. And behold, thus hath the angel spoken unto me, for he said unto me that there should be thunderings and lightnings for the space of many hours. 27. And he said unto me that while the thunder and the lightning lasted and the tempest, that these things should be, and that darkness should cover the face of the whole earth for the space of three days. I believe this has all been covered. They're kind of regurgitating the same shit. Samuel, get off the fucking wall. You're boring. Twenty-eight. And the angel said unto me, that many shall see greater things than these, to the extent that they might believe that these signs and these wonders should come to pass. Hmm. Upon all the face of the land, to the intent that there should be no cause for unbelief among the children of men. See, that should have convinced everybody. Even us. Good thing they wrote all that shit down on gold, man. Wow, I could have been lost. Those poor fucking bee fights. Twenty-nine, and this to the intent that whomsoever will believe might be saved, and that whosoever will not believe a a righteous judgment might might come upon them, and also if they are condemned, you know, sound so sure yourself. They bring upon themselves their own condemnation. 30. And now, remember, remember, <laughs> it's so dramatic, my brethren, that whosoever perisheth, perisheth unto himself. And whosoever does iniquity, does it un unto himself. Sometimes. Sometimes they do it to somebody else. <laughs> For behold, ye are free. <laughs> and ye are permitted to act for yourselves. That's that free will that they say we have. For behold, God hath given unto you a knowledge, and he hath made you free. Really? That's so sweet. 31. He hath given unto you that ye might know good from evil. And he hath given unto you that ye might choose life or death. Or ye can go and be restored unto that which is good. Let me ask you something. How do you choose life? I didn't ask you born. I was born. I didn't choose life. It's I'm glad it happened, but I didn't choose it. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> or have that which is good restored unto you, 
or he can do evil. And have that which is evil restored unto you. You didn't see that coming, did you? There's always a catch. <laughs> or you could just be a decent human being and say, Peace the fuck out. Wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because damn it, I want you to. And I mean.